summer on Delmarva is heating up and we know that you love to spend your days on the beach, out on the boat, maybe building sand castles. We love spending time in the sand, but we don't necessarily like bringing that sand home with us. So here to take care of it is Eric Farrell with Stanley Steamer. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? You been having a good summer so far? It's great so far. <laughs> a little sandy? <laughs> a little sandy. So for the folks who may accidentally track some sand into their home, is that is that a problem? Is it damaging? So sand's very damaging to all types of flooring, whether it's hardwood, uh, carpet, or even laminate wood floors. Uh, just like everybody knows the sandpaper is being abrasive, that sand uh, is very abrasive to your floor. Uh, it's a rough shape, so when you walk across it, mm -hmm. it is doing exactly that to your carpet or wood floors. It is sanding it. Yeah, so I guess preventatively, make sure you brush your feet, wash them off before getting into your home or the rental you may be spending some time at. But if sand does get into the house, people are tracking it in, maybe even into the bathroom, especially like your showers, what should people do? Uh, so vacuuming is the most effective method at mm -hmm. removing any type of soil or sand. Uh, but from time to time, uh, you are going to need a professional cleaning, especially when it settles down to the backing of the carpet to help remove it from that. Um, and the same with wood floors, the sand will get in between the boards and into the grain and bevel of the woods. And that's where a uh, you know, professional cleaning will help remove it. Uh, but I'm, you know, having girls of my own, I know that <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> stopping it at the door is always the goal. So having a mat at the front door, a walk-off mat that actually is hollow, meaning it, it doesn't have a backing to it. So the soil or sand falls all the way to the bottom of the mat. Uh, the ones that have a backing will actually start to collect the sand and when you think you're cleaning the sand off your feet sometimes you're picking yeah. it back up. <laughs> so when people do decide that they need a professional cleaner how should they get in touch with you? Uh, so 1-800-STEAMER 24-7 you can reach us get something scheduled or you can go to stanleysteamer.com and get something set up with us. What are some other aside from sand or in addition to sand what are some of the other common maybe summertime stains that we tend to see? <laughs> uh, so in the summertime a lot of people are having friends over, family mm -hmm. over, uh, so just the, the leftovers from any type of party, drink spills, uh, food spots and stains, uh, so those are the things that we see the most of right now that you're probably going to need some help with, uh, but Stanley Steam is always here for any type of spot or stain. Absolutely, and I, I know some the grass stains are maybe another popular one, especially right. for kids, maybe tracking dirty shoes in the house. Uh, what, uh, what are some preventative steps that maybe people should do with other stains in between seeing the stain and getting a hold of you guys? Uh, so anything that is a like a dry spot, whether it's sand or soil, uh, vacuuming is the best thing to do. And then avoid walking directly on the area. Again, with sand, it is abrasive, so it can scratch surfaces. Um, and then if it's a drink spill, uh, the best thing to do is blot it up, get up as much liquid as you can. And then uh, if you're unable to kind of soak up the spot on your own, uh, the best thing to do is keep it then damp. So soak up as much as you can, but then put a wet towel over it, a damp towel over it, keep it wet until a professional can come out and remove it for you. And I think one other thing that we had kind of mentioned, circling back to the sand and the there, um, the certain fabrics other than your carpet and flooring, maybe people have outdoor furniture, is that right. another piece that sees damage? Yeah, so, and again, any type of fabric is, you know, it can be damaged by anything abrasive. So, you know, we see it a lot with upholstery. So your kids go to the beach, they do a great job at taking <laughs> their, uh, taking their shoes off at the door, but then they run inside with a sandy bathing suit, yep. jump on the sofa. And then it's not also just the damage that it can cause, but the discomfort when you go to sit on it at a later date <laughs> and you feel all the sand uh, beneath you. Uh, so whether it's, you know, upholstery or leather, it's important, you know, if you get sand on it, you know, try to vacuum it up. Uh, but then also think about professional cleaning just to help remove that embedded sand and soil. Awesome. Well, Eric, thank you so much for uh, keeping people informed on what to do should they track too much sand inside or for any other stains, be it wine or makeup, as we saw last time you let us into your home. Yes, found that out firsthand. <laughs> we know that Stanley Steamer is the place to call to keep your house clean all summer long. Don't go anywhere because there's more fun coming your way. This segment of Coast Life was brought to you by Stanley Steamer.